Good morning, this is Brad Pinkerton with CCAN. I'm out in our Melita CCAN performance trials. It's September 11th, 2013. I just want to take you on a walk through our plots to see how the varieties are doing. The first variety here we'll show you is a numbered line right now. It's in the early stages of seed production, so it'll be a couple years before we bring it to market. But uh, it is an earlier, earlier maturing variety. You can see there's some pods showing up nicely at the top of the canopy. Things are maturing fairly well. There's the odd brown pod. There's some green pods in there. But a uh, nice range of yellow, brown, and green starting. Next to that is DeKalb's 2310. Again, this variety is maturing up. We can see some green pods. We can see some yellow pods. Leaf drop is starting to happen. Next to that is Picos, just a little bit shorter than the 2310 as far as uh, physical height. Looks like it's maturing up a little bit earlier than the 2310s at this stage. You can see some brown pods on there. Leaf drop is happening. But you can definitely tell that it's shorter, considerably shorter than the variety next to it, which is Secan's new product called McLeod R2. This variety is a 2375 heat unit variety and uh, stands really nice and tall, which is going to make for really good harvest conditions. You should be able to harvest through that and not worry about leaving too many pods behind. Next to that is uh, another new line, SC12997. It's another taller line. It's earlier probably a little bit earlier than McLeod's, but it's still a couple years away from the market. Uh, there's a number of yellow pods, green pods, and the odd brown pod showing up there right now. Next to that is Chadburn, which is maybe a little bit late for this area. It's a 2475 heat unit. And you can see some leaf coloration, but uh, most of the pods are still looking pretty green at this stage. Next to that is Bishop, which is one of our earlier lines. And you can certainly see that showing up here. Pods all showing up above the leaves, some leaf drop happening. A number of yellow and brown pods showing up. Again, a nice tall variety, with really good height. Should make for a really good cutting. You won't be leaving too many pods on the ground with this one. After that is another numbered line called SC2380. We'll be launching this one this year on a limited scale. And uh, it's a 2375 heat unit variety. But out here in Maletta, it's certainly looking a little bit later than McLeod. Although there's certainly a lot of pods showing up there. Quite, uh, quite a cluster of pods here, although they are fairly green at the stage. And then right behind us here on the second rep, is another uh, good example of the height difference. On your left is McLeod, and on your right over here is Picos. So you can tell that it'll certainly be considerably easier to cut and uh, harvest all the pods on, uh, on McLeod here. Very nice podding. It's looking really good. A number of four bean pods, three bean pods, and just really good clusters. There's four pods at that node. Thanks for coming on this walk in Melita, Manitoba. Have a great day.